Sounds after the planning board meeting of November 7th, 2019. Tonight, our meeting will start with our total hearing, the Hopper Road LLC Event Center, map 234 lot 049, and then it will go over a, a site plan review application. So now I'm going to open this up to the public hearing. And I'm going to ask anybody in the... Uh, let them go through the project. Let them go through the... Uh, what you're going to do. You can you take over. You, you'd like a narrative. All Tell right. us what, all what right. you do and what it's all about. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, there are the four orders of uh, 189 Hopper Road up there uh, near uh, San Pedro Post Office area. What's going on? My name's Paul. This is Cole. I'm Cole. I'm Scott. I'm Katie. Thanks. And we, we saw a lot of potential in that 50 acre property up there. It had been uh, for about 20 years logged and mined as a gravel pit, several sites for gravel. Uh, and uh, it had generally just fallen into dis disrepair. So we saw it and really fell in love with it, and we thought that the, uh, it would be a good place for an event uh, center. And uh, what we mean by that is since it had logging trails already, it could be a good place for cross-country skiing in the winter. Uh, we could build a beautiful barn, a timber frame barn. That would be a place for family anniversaries, parties, weddings, community suppers, uh, workshops, uh, things like that. So kind of try to bring a lot of different unique events to the area. Uh, we, we recognized from family and friends that Acton was a very popular, like this whole Lakes County, uh, Lakes region of York County was popular with tourists. So we could give the tourists things to do and reasons to stay uh, and spend their money, let's say, right in the area. Um, so what you're about to see is our plan. Uh, this shows the 50 acre sort of wedge shaped property. Um, That's a pointer right in front of you. Oh, okay, great. And I'm not sure I can talk in point. <laughs> so one of you can point and I'll try. And, uh, and so what we have, where Scott's about to point, is the new barn, a 60 by 60 barn, one story, tim beautiful timber frame. Uh, the property had three little houses or buildings on it already. Uh, one of them was a perfect little sort of ski house, for example. You come in and stack your ski skis outside and go for hot chocolate. And, coffee. Uh, there are two small houses that would be for day use by anybody using the property. And there was already a big cleared spot, a big gravel area for that could be a perfect parking area. And we call that parking level one. And then down below is two. Um, and then this, this doesn't show it, but there's a large network of trails um, already kind of flattened and gravel for us to use. So, that's it, our, our, our name is Hopper Road Event Rentals, and for, specifically for weddings, we have a, a brand called Barn Lights Weddings <coughs> Events. And uh, we've gotten a lot of great, great reception for this. People from the area have heard about us coming, and they've been excited to have their family event there. Um, so not just private events, but ticketed events. That's our goal, is to be able to say like you know certain type of farm to table supper uh, different types of it could be fundraisers meetings all kinds of things where we know in advance how many people are coming up to our design load of maximum 180 people um, we really can only fit 160 plus 10 staff let's say parking attendants so uh, yes yeah, you know, themed, all kinds of things from themed dinners, maybe, you know, Valentine's Day, ball, singles, mixers, different, all kinds of creative events. So things to, things to do in the town. Um, we also were excited about doing workshops for the local schools. Uh, the four of us all have different skills, including technology, drone, photography. Um, so we're, we're anticipating being able to have students out of all ages to come learn, even astronomy, where some of us are astronomy buffs, so we want to have a telescope and do events like that. So basically your community event center. What was your occupancy, your max talks? Uh, the, the max design load is 180, 
But just in terms of our great hall, grand hall space, we really will only see 160. And our PE uh, has factored in the, the 10 or so staff as the max design load. So we'll have that sign posted. There will always be uh, a minimum number of tables so that we don't, you know, the, pretend, you know, the, the state fire marshal doesn't want 500 people crammed in there yeah. holding porches up or something for a concert, which is yeah, definitely not our intention or plan. How many people are from the public if, for this public hearing tonight? Yeah. So you got two in the back. You've got three in the back. Three, You're talking four. To four. 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 Great. Four. Okay. Four. Now that's better for you. That's good. Okay. <laughs> they were nervous. <laughs> so um, should we open it up to any questions? Uh, let me just scroll down the rest of the... Uh, or do we talk to some points? Give us one second. Okay. Please. Um, we'll just maybe offer a vote. We have a, a shared right of way across lot five, and we, we share that road with uh, our neighbor, Mr. Myers. And so we're, we're um, you know, given the nature of, the, we'll have a lot more, you know, cars than, than his family will have. We're happy to take over the plowing and sanding and maintenance of the road and his own driveway. So we'll take care of that running forward. And we've got a good, good working relationship already with the existing uh, contractor. Good man. Thank you for that referral. Um, and so these various plans talk about the snow management, where we pile it. Um, there's just some of the underground lighting for the low voltage lighting, all of which will be, you know, down focused, low voltage. Uh, and, and especially we're concerned about light pollution if we want to do some astronomy nights. You know, we need a nice dark sky. Uh, this is where the new well is. And this is the driveway upgrades that we'll do. We, we we show the paved apron. Um, we, we do need to confirm with the post office that they'll be fine with our mailbox on the other side of the street. I'm not sure about stop, go, stop, you know, but we'll, we'll work on that with the post office. I think it'll be okay. Separated by about 60 feet. And Anything else that you want to share before I open it up to the rest of the room? Anything else to you? Good job. It's going to add a boy for the week. <laughs> well, so yes, any questions? Uh, any questions? I'm sorry. Um, in the back, please just state your name. And, uh, my name is Arthur Kelly. Um, we're in a butter with Kelly Richards. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And we're also a neighbor, one out, one property down. Oh, uh, yes. Um, so, will there be anybody residing on the property? Uh, no, sir. No, no one will live there, per se. So, at night, when there's no event, we'll, the gate will be locked with uh, a Knox padlock for, for the fire department. But, no. So, um, we, we four owners live in the area though, so we'll always be, you know, patrolling, maintaining, you know, either upgrading something or repairing something, I'm sure. So we will be very much a presence um, all, always. If not daily, then most of the time. Um, does that answer your question? Or? And then the other question is, what would you anticipate to be your hours of operation? Oh, uh, definitely all events will end at 10 at night. And as for whether there were any morning or afternoon events, we were we would hope so that we could do, you know, during school hours there might need to be a, a you know some sort of field trip, so it would be during the day. Um, we we will definitely not encourage apple orchard raiding. <laughs> In fact, we we were we stopped by the property. Uh, uh, I think it was this this spring that we stopped by to try to meet you and talk about a partnership any type of uh, pick your own apple day, hosting some of your your uh, fruit for sale at our place. So we, do you remember who we met, your, your supervisor? Yeah, there was a manager on site. Yeah. I don't recall her name now, but she was very helpful. Yeah. And what day of the week did you, did you come by? Mm -hmm. Saturday probably? Or? We have it in our calendar. Yeah. It might have been a Saturday. Yeah. 
probably Angelica. But Angelica. So, um, yeah. Um, is there going to be any notification process around the event? Uh, it, it, uh, let's see, like a, an email or a phone call that there's an event? Well, are you going to have to let the town know if something's going to be going on? Or is, uh, not that there needs to be, I'm just curious. Right. Well, to, to our knowledge, we would only, like if there was a, pub, like a public style event, like let's say hosting a festival for the town in, you know, involving a farmer's market or, or something like that, some sort of um, like event, we would definitely notify the community or the town. But if there were private events, like someone's anniversary celebration or something, we weren't going to notify uh, in, in particular anybody. But as a courtesy, we are happen, happy to sort of let, let our abutters know. Well, I'm not just, just curious if there was a process for that or not. I see. Um, and, and please, we, we can exchange a, our cell phones so that all of our neighbors have our personal contact info. Um, in, in, in any case, at every event, one of us will be there anyway, so it will be reachable. But we, we will we'll make sure you have our contact info. I mean, but my main concern was, you know, potentially late, late nights. And, you know, 10 o'clock is very reasonable. So that's right. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want, you know, we're, we're, well, with the exception of one of us, we're, the, we're not spring chickens anymore, and, and we want late nights either, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can hear the hammer going over there on us. Yeah, that's right. Permitting or working on the oil. Right, yeah. We, we, and definitely that will stop soon too, you know, God willing. No, no. <laughs> I'm fine with hammers. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for your question. Are there any other questions? Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Fisher Nass. I live in Acton on the Milton North Road, so not real close to you. But so I have, I have a question for the chairman of the planning board. Is this a uh, request for a conditional use permit? Yeah. So, because this area is not zoned for this kind of a facility, I don't think, is it? It's, it's site plan uh, review application. Okay. The zone is um, wait a minute. village, village in transition. In transition. So it permits, or do they need a conditional use permit? It's a site it's plan review oh, application. Okay, what is that? that it's a more on. intense conditional use. Okay. And number two to the chairman, where is the planning board tonight? I see three members here. Three members. Where's the rest? Oh, we know? do have a quorum. Yes, we do. Okay. Number four for the applicants. What is their plan on alcohol and marijuana? Well, that's a great question. Uh, so there, there, we will have a, a, a license certified you know, facility to serve alcohol. So you're going to apply for an alcohol permit? Yes, okay. absolutely. So there will be another public hearing for that. Will there be a open bar? Any hours where the bar will be open without an event going on? Oh, no. Never. Okay, Never. what about marijuana? Uh, we, well, actually, uh, no intentions whatsoever to, to do that. I, I do realize that the, its federal status is is um, changing, for example, uh, I'm not up on the main laws, but we personally don't want any such events. Or So if the planning board were to specifically prohibit the sale of the facility being used to sell marijuana, that would be okay with you? Uh, it would be certainly okay with us. Uh, we we aim to follow the law, however. Yeah. So I guess I can't say in five years when the um, society has fully accepted it, uh, we we wouldn't have an event. Perhaps someone may in this very town may want to sell medical marijuana. I don't know. So if we don't have to be legally constricted or bound from promising never to touch marijuana. It would be like saying we, we don't want any smokers on our property. If it's federally legal, we don't need to restrict. But if it's, we, we try not to be judgmental people about some sort of about the federal law, it's about the state law at this point. Yeah, both of them, then let's say, let's include that in okay. my, my statement. Excuse me, Mr. Jack. Yep. But right now, marijuana, use cannabis, we use how the way the where. Who can grow? Who can't grow? Is it retail, adults only? Right. There's so much up in the air. I well, there's a state law that says it can't be, unless it's approved by the town, they can't sell it. Well, that's what the law so says right now. now. So that's what I'm asking about. We have a moratorium right now. Though, we do. In this town. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about, it's, it's a rather moot point at this time. Okay. 
You guys have no intention to sell it? No, not at all. I was back it. In fact, the property, you know, had, has a had history apparently of growing. Um, but that's definitely not in our business model. Uh, we're all professionals. We don't want to touch certain things with a 10 foot pole. Um, so I, I hope that allays your concerns, right? We, we're not smokers in, in any capacity. Uh, so, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say without hurting people's feelings that may ever watch this in the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Okay, thank, thank you, sir. And, and we'll give you our contact information as well uh, if you'd like that. We'll find you. I'm good. Okay, sir. <laughs> Any other questions regarding the um, Hopper Road LLC at this time? Okay, very good. And I want to thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And I want particularly to thank those of you in the audience who came out on such a miserable night as it is. Uh, be careful driving, but thank you for coming out. And um, we're, we have a lot to go over with you. We're going to set a time and a meeting place uh, where it's just going to be Harper Road okay. LLC. And we will get to you on that uh, in the next day or two. Cool. And we will go forward from there. Excellent. Do you guys have a good day to meet out at the site next yeah. week sometime? Oh, yes. Yes. We just have a new fire chief, chief. and I want to bring yeah. him through the whole oh, process. Great. We've gone through two probably. This is our third one since your yeah. project started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Inter <laughs> and then now we've got a permanent one. So. All right. Should, should we we'll email some times among us all sure. that work for you? And just trying to see which day he's working too and okay. we'll coordinate something, then we'll walk through the process with him. We'll go through that. I think he's already talked to you. He's one of you guys he's yeah. talked to. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, so was he the interim or the final? No, we, we now have. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you, man. We'll, we'll uh, uh, Rick Smith is our new fire chief. As of last Wednesday. As of last uh, Wednesday. So, okay. Yes. So if um, you know, I do know the holiday is coming up, but right. we want to move as forward as you do. So Great. please, um, a day when we can get together. All right. It'll be good daytime. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a daytime we'll site walk, bring it through, walk. Uh, turn and radius, his parking, yeah. things like that, yeah. and the facility for him. Um, yeah. And then we'll get together. Great. Then yeah. we'll just have one specific night for you guys. What? I think the checklist is 14, 15 yeah, pages, have, and we'll just uh, go through it. 15 pages of checklist to go through with you. Now we've had your public hearing, really no negative so comment. Can, yeah. Good. You know, we'll do that just, just good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll email you a copy of the checklist if you haven't got it already. Something. Schedule now. If you want to schedule something um, while we're here, I'm available Friday and Monday next week. Well, tomorrow and next week Monday, as well as the week, um, Saturday if you wanted to do it Saturday. Yeah. I haven't got a reply back from. I would imagine that's probably short notice, but um, any day bad next week. Uh, well, I'm not available next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but yeah, we, we're, Wednesday's out for us, but otherwise good. Any day but Wednesday? Any day but Wednesday? Wednesday. Two, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday-ish maybe, yeah, but hopefully Thursday. No, it's just me and 5G. Okay. It's not a sidewalk. It's, it's not a sidewalk. It's bringing, we've got to bring fire chief, the fire chief up today. And we'll review those things. I'll shoot Thursday at 2, try that. And if it works, it works. If not, no. Okay. And, and again, Monday or Tuesday at 2 is good as well. Yep. Um, or Saturday at 2 is good. It's not that we're yep. encouraging it yep. to work. Just give us a call as quickly and we'll know when Chief Smith is available. Great. Right. All right. And we'll have the state and fire marshal's uh, approval soon. I think the PEs and the, the, life, the life safety director have completed their. But the main concern was that, you know, like I said, that from their point of view, the tables could all be cleared out and, you know, 
more than our design load could be present, even though that's never our intention. The tables are basically a permanent fixture, minimum of five for 50 to 16. To 16. So um, that was the last exchange, and there'll possibly be like the placard that says design occupancy, you know, design max. Max occupancy. Yeah, on each end of the building. Right. So short of bolting the tables to the floor, which we're hoping to avoid, because we may want to move them, but right, right. so we'll keep you posted on that, and they'll give us a what type of sign approval or some sort of document that will the allow them to file. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, the state fire marshal can, when they get the report from them, um, the requirements, is also the fire chief, I mean, is it the both of them? To so determine the occupancy of the Not just the occupancy, but the whole project. Fire marshal is usually going to be accessibility, mm -hmm. in, out, uh, pan exiting, things like that. Uh, fire chief is probably going to look at it as uh, the entrance all the way in, the parking, uh, if the largest truck can make the. Uh, if it was a fire, their free plan attack, how they're going to do it, what they're going to ask for, needs, wants. Um, the ambulance has a turnaround. Mm -hmm. yeah. Scott, did you show Chief Smith our, our life safety plan and the, that document? Or we can bring in. He said he was looking at stuff that you had been. Yeah, so okay. we forwarded all that stuff to the oh, okay. uh, guys, mm -hmm. all that. Okay. Okay. I don't know if they've got the final November 5th. It could be the September 9th version okay. that he may have. So. And we do have the actual life safety plan, which is not a big print. It's like a letter size that's yeah. stamped by the design, the life safety people. Um, so we can bring that for them if you want. Yes. Do you have that electronically? Yes. Yeah, if you could send that to me and I'll follow okay. that and they'll be able to review yeah. it prior to. Okay. I have a copy of that, actually. There was, okay, so we have a V2. Um, a, the only difference was what was once that kind of large storage room in the corner. 12 by 14 is not is now cut in half and um, it's a hallway to the exit, so it's a little different. Say nothing effective occupancy, or it's just no longer one big room. It's a hallway plus a storage room. So I'll get that. If it's probably not material to the table chain. and chair storage or um, well, maintenance. Yeah, it's 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 more of a a place to put up a few tables that have been folded, but it's not. Um, Locked, it's not a room. The other one is like the bar storage. Mm -hmm. That one's a small room. Oh, are you talking about this? Yeah, that's right. That's the new mm -hmm. one. And so we gave the fire marshal a new version where that storage room is now much smaller and mm -hmm. it's a full hallway out, an exit hallway. Okay. Yep, so you electronically yeah, I'll get that to him so he'll have that as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's very good. People sometimes just see a door and think it leads to a second door. Yeah. yeah it doesn't. Yeah. So now there's no door. It's actually wider, and the one door is that exit with the light. Yeah. And, and so it's clear as day. Yeah. What did they tell you? The, the, uh, the well of the was down from that. Oh, maybe it was yeah. 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 yeah, we have it on here on the wall page. Yeah. A good, uh, good flow. Um, yeah. They were holding for 5,000 and they got 15,000, I believe. Yeah, oh, it's on the front. It was a nice consolidated. <laughs> 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 I found it right away. There you go. It's 15 gallons a minute. Yeah. And yeah, we were, we were happy with that. It went <coughs> deeper than we hoped, yeah. but so it's going to be. Hopefully, we don't have to do it That's right. That's right. And it has the casing, so it's going to be. So it's. it's um, Okay, everybody. Great. Well, we thank you for your time again. Thank, thank you all for your time. Sorry to hold up the. Yeah. Could you explain yeah. the, the process then after um, we meet with do the, have the site plan with Mito or the fire chief? And then we, when do we get scheduled for that checklist? I think we're going to try to put you on the next yes. weekend, plus or minus Thanksgiving. I'm going to have some work and show that lays out. We'll, we'll, I think we've already given you the checklist, the stuff we're going to go through. 
but so uh, we'll send it to you again. To, uh, it's changed, so yeah, I'll okay, send it yeah. And at the last meeting, we did go through a certain a certain checklist yeah, to get to this one. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So there's another checklist. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> You need a checklist to track the checklist. The checklist, the checklist for the checklist. Have <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we have that. But we have it on the meeting before Thanksgiving. So yeah, we do before yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. And do you want our PE present at any at any one? Of I don't. Things? I don't think we need one right now. Okay. Um, okay. But we'll we'll go through like this is fourteen pages. Mm -hmm. You said Tuesday was good. good. Yes. Sorry, mm -hmm. Chicago. So, okay. so <laughs> is it actually the next meeting then? Because um, we're, we're just trying to figure out um, where it flows and when to go forward after the permit. Okay, well, you don't have your permit Right, yeah, so. that's, what, that's what I'm trying to see when, it, when we actually... Yeah. I, I honestly think you're, you're looking at December, maybe? December? The agenda for the next one? Uh, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. But I I, I, I and I don't it's not gonna go beyond that. And, and I believe we only have is it one meeting in December? Oh, there's two. But there is two, that's right. But if we if we have to squeeze in another meeting, we've already talked about doing that. Yeah. If it works for y'all, then that might be what we do when we're doing these larger things. We may have to just do individual meetings, and if we have to, we will. Okay. Was so. Friday good for you? Yes. Tomorrow? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you say in an hour? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Friday the 15th? Yeah. yeah. That works as well. Friday the 15th. Yeah. yeah. It, was quite, it was available Monday, if that works for you guys. Well. Uh, he's working both those days, so Friday the 15th works. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll do new. You know, So what you're saying, Joyce, is hopefully everything goes well. Uh, our first meeting in December, they should be hopefully done. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes. This is Mars and this is Venus, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully that's what it is. But you know, it could be a Christmas present. <laughs> what can I say? We'd, we'd like to give our contractors their Christmas presents. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. We have Christmas presents on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, that's our goal. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you just forwarded me that life safety plan, the latest update. The latest update. Yeah. You guys want this somewhere else? That would be fine. That would be the best time. Thank you. Thank you. And we said noon. Yeah. 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 I'll now call the uh, national meeting to order. Uh, we, we are the planning board tonight. There are three of us. This is a quorum. We are here. Uh, the approval of the October 17th meeting and the minutes of that meeting, please. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of October 17th. Second. All in favor? Well, I have a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, on the second page, yeah. it talks about the uh, resource protection buffer. Is it actually referring to the buffer between the properties? I'm pretty sure. Not the uh, actual resource protection. Okay, could you tell me that one again? Where are you? On the top of page two. On the top of page two. Okay. Uh, we're um, regarding. This is referencing the buffer between the properties and between the property and the road and the 
commercial drive. Yeah. Not that it's a resource protection button in the map. Oh, I thought it was. No, I, thought it was, was I thought it was both concerns. I thought it was both of his concerns too, but I'm not. Um, I don't believe so. Because okay. the other, the resource protection buffer was addressed in terms of the um, the markings. Exactly. But the, but yeah, listening to what he said, I thought he had both. But was it the spacing of the signs? No, no, no. no it's it's the trees. Uh, uh, we talked about, uh, and I use the analogy that it's just a plant where you can cut a couple of old trees to rebuild the trail or something. Uh, 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 ready to cut it out and put it in that buffer. Right. Because on the property it refers to that there's a natural, there's already a natural buffer. Right. So that's kind of the key with that. It's, it's talking about this buffer here. Right. Right. But I mean, we can table it for the next meeting. We can table it to the next meeting. I mean, um, but I think we did decide that um, the note that was not necessary because there simply weren't any trees that were of a size. But I'm just clarifying in terms of the notes and what it's referring to. I see that, but I don't believe that. I, mean, I agree with uh, Mr. Long that. The way I took the question was both. He was concerned about the and the uh, and the buffer. Right, but it says right. We have to look at the. Um, we really will have to look at that. Okay. Or we can wait until Gavin. Because that, that was his statement. That was his statement. We can clarify. We can, we can clarify it. We can hold that. And we'll okay. clarify it with Gavin. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll, I'd rather do it. Yeah. yeah. We'll just look at, at what was recorded. And then on uh, page three, under um, the conditions for the group, on yeah. uh, number one, that the retail sales will not be conducted. Will be conducted. No retail sales. Oh, let me back on that one as well. Yeah. Top of page three under the conditions. Oh, yeah, that's a typo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. There is it. So do you want me to make a new motion to table the minutes until uh, our next meeting? I would make, amend your motion, please, to uh, table the approval until your final meeting. Right. This is exactly what I said. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? So be it. The minutes will be um, tables. Uh, no, uh, the minutes will not be tabled. The minutes will be uh, held uh, until our next meeting. Approval of the minutes will be held. Okay. Yes, we're not going to table them. They're not going to sit on the table. Okay. Um, old business, Harper Road LLC, uh, as you all saw, we will go through them uh, with them uh, after uh, fire chief uh, inspection and perhaps at a, which will, by the way, when we do have a public, a, a meeting like this where we'll take one particular um, application, it is a public meeting. So it's not that we're going to have a meeting that no one can go to. Anybody can go to the meeting. It's just a, a time thing. Um, York County. Do we have anyone here from York County? Okay. Mr. Martell, I've seen you here. Um, Brad, hello.
Скрин. Скрин. She didn't get me a letter in time, so she guess she was stuck in traffic, so. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. Terrible yeah. life for driving. So she apologized for them. She'll read the next meeting. Absolutely. Along with the new, uh, the new firm. Uh -huh. not, not a problem. And I'll thank you for well, letting us know. Yeah. Well, the weather changes, it might come tonight. Probably just as well as yeah. she yeah. did come. Exactly. Okay. Where are we, Brad? Um, the plans that the board has tonight is the same plan that we had for the sidewalk. Okay. And um, the biggest change on the plans would be the uh, fact that we added the houses for each lot, driveways, and um, those are depicted on the C1 plan. So that, that kind of shows you a foot, footprint of what these houses uh, uh, will probably probably look like in size. If you go to the uh, C2 sheet, you will see a, uh, on the right-hand corner that gives the impervious area. Uh, if we calculate all of the road, the uh, driveways, and the houses, and it's uh, just below 2.8 2 acres of uh, impervious area for the, for the entire subdivision. Uh, the ponds, uh, we still have the two ponds that I think on the sidewalk we had a chance to kind of point those out where the locations of those are going to be. And um, I do also have a drainage analysis that we have not submitted. Um, I have that tonight. Um, so, that, so we do have that available. Um, you have the you have the pointer there. I do. Yeah. yeah. When I was looking at this, I and it was only me. Uh, I had a hard time seeing the boundary between where the driveway comes on um, from the what would be the main road with the, the lot line and the boundary up. Can you just show me on? Yeah, so you mean yes. with the entrance of yeah. coming in off the Young Road? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, at the very end. At the very end, yeah. At the very end. Um, on lot 8 and 9. And, yeah, on 8 and 9, exactly. I'm sorry, I should have said that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, this is lot 7 in here. Yeah. Um, and so, and this is lot 8. Right. So the, the boundary line back in here right between those two lots uh, lot eight the other boundary between eight and nine is back in here okay well the driveways on that one yeah the driveway was not isn't on this one I'm just curious where the driveway is oh, okay um, yeah so if you go to C3 do you have that That's A3. Is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the driveway is, is going to run back across uh, and then split. It's going to be a common driveway. Right. I mean, I'm looking at it yeah. on this. That I was just the property line from one lot to the next. Does it cross that? It will, yeah. So that would be a common driveway for lot uh, 7 and 8. Okay, but it... Um, common driveway 
it sort of goes down, it circles around. And it goes yeah, it'll come down. It bifurcates. Yeah, and then lot seven, mm -hmm. house construction would be here, lot eight would be back here. Right. And that was just a way to eliminate a lengthy driveway for lot seven. Um, so a less pervious. It, that's right. It, it actually cuts back in the, where it's close to the lake. So it, uh, so the, the, the combined portion of the driveway would bring you back down to about this point mm -hmm. where it would split um, either way. And it was really just a way of avoiding uh, extra length of the driveway. Mm -hmm. And when we do something like that, there would be a, a maintenance agreement between the owners, and that would uh, uh, that would be all set up. And um, you know, once we get everything approved, we'd, we'd, it would be at each person's deed and spelled right out exactly about maintenance and if you ever have to pave it and the costs and everything else. Uh, it would be all uh, figured out. Mm -hmm. And once again, we do have a homeowners association, so yeah. um, that would still apply for all of the lots, and um, uh, they'll be under uh, certain regulations for that, not necessarily about the common driveway, but, um, but, but there'll be some organization of the, of the neighborhood and the, the 14 lots. Yeah. Yeah. And do you need a I was going to bring him up on it. So usually their concern is going to be fire safety with the sprinklers and all the house. I had a quick conversation with that with him as well as that, um, and forwarded these plans, put them all in their box. I haven't heard anything from him. We did talk subdivisions, and he still likes the idea of residential sprinkler systems versus fire ponds and cisterns and things mm -hmm. like that. Although you do have the lake there, I guess that would be a fire pond. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean the last. Fire chief. Uh, so talk some about the road access with fire equipment. We did have a plan from them, yeah. And, from the last chief. And it right. uh, was all satisfactory uh, in his lab. I just want to know where this is a new application if we had to have a, well, we had to have a new document. Mm -hmm. so probably want to have his attention on Thursday. Uh, we'll take a look at this as well. Okay. I just. Make sure that put it. Yeah, I mean, we have a new fire chief. It's not necessarily. I, I, I appreciate that. You know, the applicant's uh, issue. That's our right, issue. Right, but the so old fire chief was for the prior application. That was that was my point, and I didn't know. My question was, can you use the same paperwork? Okay. Uh, if it was a prior application, we start off. I just want to make sure everything is yeah. sure, so we don't have to go back. Now, we did give you the uh, sketch plan review, correct? Yes. Yep. Somebody, please. I've got the application or the, the checklist that we're working on. Do you have that? Okay. Let's get let's get that go through that. And um, go from here. Um, that was on 5.2, number 3. Under the sketch plan? Yep. Site inspection, right? Schedule um, 5.3 C. How the common area infrastructure will be managed and maintained. Um, same as when we were talking before, we'll need the homeowners association documents and things like that. And yeah, I did put that in the cover letter. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll set that up. So. Yeah. 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 Four, sketch plan application, we've got that. We have that, right? Sketch plan application fee, we haven't gone through that yet. Um, copy of the USGS topo. Less than that. The, it's a full blown topo usually. Is that two foot contours on this? Or five? Uh, that is two foot. That's two foot. So you may, they may be confused with that piece. If you can just give that to Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. Well, I got some here. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're all marked up. So. Well, the marked up means we've, we've gone got through it. it and we have to yeah. take it away. What page are you on? I am on 3 of 11. Yeah, 3 of 11. 5.37. Yeah. Copy of the portion of the York County Soil Survey covering the proposed subdivisions. Um, actually, at this point, we have septic tested data for each site as well. Too. Yeah, we have all of those. We have done 5.41. That's been done. Yeah. Site meeting again. Okay, then we have the um, 5.42 was uh, we informed you in writing for the contour levels. You did two foot, so and that's for a preliminary plan. Three was flagging. Yeah. Four building footprints flagged. And we have, which we have. Donovan took care of five. Exactly. Which that is sketch plan. That is sketch plan. So six one would be pre preliminary. Um, preliminary. Six one would be preliminary. So at this point, I I two. So we'll accept. Move on to the preliminary yes, application next. Um, how are you guys working with the DEP for stormwater? Have you got a meeting with them yet, or? Yes, we have a meeting set up for tomorrow. So. Cool. Yep. Um, and now that we have our drainage analysis, that's uh, part of the documents that we need to submit back to them. Yep. Yep. So when. You guys meet with DEP. I just want to be clear. They look the site over. You guys tell them what you're planning on doing. They tell you what you can do, what you can't do, what you have to do. So at this level with DEP, what they're talking about is a licensing level okay. at the Portland office. So I would imagine it's a meeting at their office, right? They're not on the site. It is in Portland. Yeah. The, the, the people that do the on-site is the National Resource Protection Inspectors, the enforcement people. The, they're the ones that usually go outside. I don't think licensing, I mean, major projects they would, but I don't think for something like this, yeah. they, would, they would just look at the plans. So this would be after the licensing process? Uh, it's a chicken and eggs. And originally, the NERPR people had told us to um, uh, get your town approvals first and then come to us. But at the same time, they also want to see them too. So. Um, that's why we had discussed early on doing both. If you can do, if you can get in and talk to them, do both at the same time. Yeah, it was a lengthy process, so obviously we want to stop that as soon as possible. So. Yeah, because yeah. they hate wasting their time, and then the town has all these changes, and then they got to start all over. So they kind of like to see an approval, but and I kind of hate them wasting our time. And yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Definitely. I, I've been begging them out for the last three or four years, monthly. If they, you know, they come out quite often, and I call them, and, you sure. know, just, just to keep in the loop what's happening. Good. But that's your NERPA people. That's yeah. the National Resource Protection. Yeah. yeah. 
the forestry. I mean, I had them all out there. I got the green light from everybody. They were out this the other day. Okay. Did I put the pre-application in your folders? I did. Um, no, the actual application itself. Have we got it at the last meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Um, October 18th. That's good. Yep. So I went through and we have the completed preliminary plan application, the letter of authorization. We have the current deed. We have the test kit results. Letters list, mailing labels, three sets, tax map, nine full sets of plans, and one PDF plan. And we have it. And our checklist is checked off for us. And, and, check it off for us and our checklist is checked off for us. And it's all there. Brenda will send you an email on what the fee was for the sketch plan, and then we'll you want to get from preliminary application. Okay. So we have everything here. So I said it's just pick away another page. Pick away another page. And um, then, then at the next meeting, we can maybe get an update for how you have the DEB as well, too. Yeah. Absolutely. And then, because then from there, we should be able to. Um, get into the mandatory submissions and final stages right. and things like that. So let's go on to page four under preliminary plan application. Application approval, preliminary plan shown, approximate layout shown on the sketch plan plus any recommendations made by the board. This is kind of a, a revision from the first plan that we've had. It's the revision. So I think there's not much of a change since the 18th. Would that be correct? That, that is correct, yeah. Okay. So one is good. <coughs> so one is good. Two is the fee. Mm. Which? Brenda will send you the email for the we'll, fee. We'll let her take care of it. Are you The escrow we had, uh, 6.13, the escrow we had was for the last, the, the original of the submission. I'll get an update from the financing just to see what the balance is. Uh, usually she tries to send you an email monthly to, to show us that. I don't think much has been spent down on that since the original revision on the, the, the cluster. So. Um, Brenda will send you an email on that to update you if she needs more escrow money. So. Uh, 6.14, applicant is here. Yep, Brad, you and here. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, five, we need to send you a receipt of the application. And we'll uh, move forward with notifying the director about us on that, which is big. You guys good on that? We're going to notify the about us that the application for the subdivision approval has been submitted. The preliminary plan. The preliminary. Yep. This is all under preliminary plan. Yep. Definitely. Five and that's, and that's direct about us. Direct about us. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right. Uh, C crosses municipal municipal boundaries. We're going to notify the towns. And A. Yeah. Uh, six. The board determines whether the application is complete. Uh, we're just lacking um, the fee, which we haven't told them it is yet. We'll right. have to calculate that out.
that, I would think you would do the motion to secure that so we know where we're at. Okay. So you're looking at something, Ken, like what? A uh, motion to accept, accept the application. One through five. Uh, well, the preliminary application. The preliminary application. Maybe you want to accept it so we can move forward and go through that preliminary application and, and do a review on that or ask them for more information. Okay, I'll make a motion to accept the preliminary application. So that means starting the process of going through to make sure that we have it. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'll second that. Right. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Three zero. Three zero. Uh, seven, not complete. We notify the application of what he's missing. That one's going to be an A. Yeah. Um, um, I did put in the road commissioner's box the fire chief. I think we, we put a note to send it to the school system as well, too. I'll double check on that. And that was the smaller planes they sent. So uh, I'll bring the fire chief back out when we're out to the, the barn. Yeah. Are you available that day? That was the 15th. Friday the 15th would probably be 1 o'clock ish. Yeah. Well, at the site? Yeah. 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 Bring in the fire chief. Yep. You have the road commissioner too, Ken. I sent him. Now, is this one of the roads that are one guy in the summer, one, one guy in the winter? winter. Yes. So I threw it in both their boxes. Yeah. I haven't gotten any anything back. I'll, I'll check with Will on that as yeah. well too. Yeah. Because I'd probably like to drive down there in with him as well too. Yeah. Um, can I see the sticky note pad? Let me make sure we send something to the school. Uh, this isn't a 55 and older, so it could potentially affect the school, but more than likely it. it I've got a letter from the school from the, from the schools. Yeah. You do. You're in need of kids. Which I'm not gonna have no kids on this. Unless you guys plan to add to something. But, uh, I got that letter years back, uh, probably a year and a half or so ago, maybe even two years ago, but uh, they're in need of kids. The heating schools are not even full filled up, but okay. you wanna see kids up there. But we'll we'll send them Unless they're on a vacation park or something, or, you know, kids camp or something. That could happen. Number of dwelling units proposed. Uh, each building lot's laid out. Yeah. And that's 14, 14, including the mother. Yes, the original. Yeah. Length of the road. Uh, 8C is multifamily commercial industrial. NA. NA on that one. Yeah. Board determines whether to hold a public hearing on the preliminary plan application. We've never really done preliminary plan applications, although we did for the um, cluster. Cluster. We had had, but we've never done it for any other subdivision plans. No. And I'd rather be myself well, consistent. And we'll just have the last final subdivisions. And let me do it on the um, final. And do it on the final. Since we did it on the cluster, people are completely familiar. The word's out. The word is out. I would um, ask one of you to make a motion that we do this on the final. I make a motion we do the public hearing on the final um, plan application. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Three zero. Yep. Three zero. So that makes ten and A. Yeah. A is N A. Well, ten. On nine. What was the term? What's old? I would say the, the, the board determines. 
determined, they did do it. So I don't know if it really should be NNA. NA, oh, uh, no. Um, um, a was NA. Okay. Or 10 was NA. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so I wrote three to zero on nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when we get to final, you come up onto that. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, a and A. That makes B and A. Yeah. And C was N A. On the final. That's one. When we redo our subdivision work, that's one probably to relocate. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's why. Yeah. And it'll be the same the thing with. Yes. I think so, yeah. The same thing on the um, word specified in writings, it's finding the facts. Yeah. And reading, and that'll be on the final. Yeah. So 14 and 13 will be final. Yeah. Final. Uh, 13. 13C was a uh, cost the estimates. Cost estimate. The cost estimates we got for the cluster, was that the cluster you gave to us? It was for the cluster. Yeah, any real change in that? The hammer had changed a little, but no, I mean the road costs are almost identical to that because it's the same length, it's the same road. Yeah. Yeah. It's just what it says. The board conveys to the applicant that approval of a preliminary plan shall not constitute approval of a final plan or intent to approve the final plan, but rather an expression of approval of the design of the preliminary plan as a guide to the preparation of the final plan. And that's a yes. Say yes. Say yes. 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 Yes
Basil Young saw so on that. Zoning districts. District. Those are. It's all one zone except the shore. It is all one. All one. And shore is in the shore. And shore is there, right? But that's a first sheet A one. Yeah. shown in feet, drawn to scale, not more than 100 inch. What's the scale on the main map? back to it's uh, one inch equals 50 and then uh, a1 is one is a hundred mm -hmm. one inch is a hundred that's so three. three and then three is three is uh, um, post name of the subdivision one to a third subdivision did yeah. you get the town did you get the town on there yeah that's in the head of uh, so this map number. Yeah. It's on the application. Which one? Uh, map and lock. Map and lock. Yeah, it's right on the front page. On the front page, yeah. Right on the front page. <laughs> Verification of right title and interest to the property, the deeds and the pre uh, preliminary. Yeah. We have that over here. Yeah. Standard boundary survey. Data baron made and certified by a professional land surveyor. Yeah, so that's the uh, A1, 2, and 3. 1719. Yeah. Components of the parcels located on the ground and marked by monuments. Did you find any pens out there? Or we did. Yeah, we found quite a few little holes um, in the snow wall. And, um, so that, that boundary reflects all that. So. Have the Buzzle Road pins been set? They have not. They have not. Is that something you plan to do this year? Uh, we can do that at any time, so. Yeah. Uh, gee, the entire possible track shown includes all continuous land in cone and ownership with, within the last five years. Um, maybe that's a separate plan we'll want. because that's going to be confusing where it was within the last five years. Yeah, but it does show the puzzle road property, right. so. Five years ago, it was two lots. When you bought it, it was yeah. two lots. Well, yeah. What were the acreages on the two lots? Like 44 and 24, 49. Yeah. But if you look at A1, that actually shows the, uh, the original configuration of the two lots. A1 is in this one right here, right? Yeah, so the first. 
Yeah. Or she got the cover sheet. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, my A1. I did add. It's not my A1. Yeah, so <laughs> I added the uh, boundary plans. And then it stuck out. Oh, uh, it was a set. So oh, there's a right there. Yeah. But there's a boundary. Yeah. We're just so not seeing it on this size. Is it the hash line? That, that was the dividing line between yeah. the two lots. That's correct. Yeah. And then you can see the acreage of, uh, of the two different parcels. Good, good about Dennis is still studying. I know. Is he sleeping? No. That's one week. Yeah, I'm all set. He's the only one I know reads the comprehensive plan. So it's easy. Hey, that's it. He's the only one who knows what it says. How many times have I read this book? A week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Oh, please, that was. It was nearly as good as a concrete. Yeah, sure. So yes, we're uh, 6.23 H, copy of the most recent deed. Mm -hmm. I love how the NSS is named. I know. It three times. Copy of all deed restrictions, easements right away, and other encumbrance. It's currently affecting the property. Uh, no restrictions out there. Uh, they're on poverty. No easements, no right of ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Copy of deed restrictions intended to cover all parts of the lots. And I think that was the same that we talked about with the uh, landowners' docks, the Property Owners Association, the road. Um, where Buzzle Road had its own road, that's going to be, much, I, that's probably more unique than most of the subdivisions we've dealt with because it was on the town road. Because it was on the town road. Yeah. yeah. So this one will be the road maintenance agreements and any rights, covenances, no chickens, no vinyl siding, no tin roofs, whatever you guys propose on that. So that'll be something we'll still need. No goats. Yeah, we do have a draft of that, but we can finalize that. that time. Yeah. So that's like, like the agreement that they're going to have for the home right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of it, the more complicated part is um, at what point does the home association start paying for the road maintenance or um, when does the developer give up rights? And I mean, from what you've said, that may be a while. Never. 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 He's holding the rights forever. <laughs> Once you give it away, it's not getting it back. Yeah. And they know um, what they want, so. So that driveway situation would be covered in there too? That, yes. that, that would be in, in a separate deed for that those lots. It'll be in each of those deeds when they get written. Yeah, and we could give you a draft of how that would yeah. look. Uh, yeah, and it would spell out all the maintenance and um, you know basically that's a big big item uh, on that. Yeah. So I, I guess as a side note, uh, we had when mm -hmm. you were talking in the cluster, you were thinking only X amount of houses per year for a long term build up. So we didn't have to. Uh, yeah, I just think it would be built in one no. summer. That's why I suggested to give people and uh, right. just get, you know, paying taxes and water taxes on each lot. So I just give me one lot a year. So there's 22 years. I probably wanted to be around, so I just wanted to make sure everybody was covered. The kids were covered, the family was covered. So I think it was one to two, and I could have lived with one lot a year. But for, it doesn't matter. For a building? For a building yeah. permit. Yeah. So if the subdivision was approved, the, the, the tax map would show 14, you'd get 14 tax bills, but you'd only build one per year? Yeah. Well, I, I suppose that would be an assessing question. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to think about that one. Yeah. You know, yeah, I gave away, that was for the 22. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. You know, I'm interested you know, in the I, I, I gotta re, Yeah, I've got to rethink that one. If I'm and and I think that may be an assessing question. If you can't build on the lots that are there, is there a different rate for assessing yeah. as well, too? You know, at this time, it's cheap enough. I really don't care. I, I don't mind helping the town. I'll give them the money for the lots. It ain't the end of the world. But as far as that one permit a year, I'm still sticking to it, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in writing anymore. So, mm -hmm. no, it's just that I, I don't know. I got to think well, about if that. it's not in writing, then it, it's nothing. There you go. Yeah, so if yeah. it's in writing, then we know, or if it's yeah. two a year or something. Yeah. 
I mean, the town has a growth ordinance as well, so there's yeah, a, yeah, we have a circuit break, a, a limitation on their right. on that. A yeah, probably five or six a year, but hopefully, I don't see it. I, so I will ask the assessor yeah. that question there. See if there's a difference. Okay. I'm sure he's not going to want anything to do with that. Uh, I'm sure he's not. You can ask. Uh, it's, it's a different time. A different tax rate a different for tax rate. Rate. I did ask. For a spread. So oh, you did? No difference. You did ask? Yeah. They said they would try to get as much as they can tonight. I said, good luck. You should. So. No, what, what, was, what was that again? Well, it just do I get a tax break? If I don't get a bill and burn up. Building permit on it. You know, if he's restricted from getting a building permit, right. should he pay? Because when I did the 22 lots, I said, so nobody gets nervous and scared. I said, you know what? I want to do this. But if something happens to me, it carries through sure, sure. With, the, with the family and stuff. So I said, you know what? Just give me one permit a year. This way nobody's nervous about boom, blowing in 22 houses. And uh, so I, I looked into it with the town. They said, now once the road's in and paved, which I want to do is... Uh, <clears throat> from runoff reasons, but uh, he said, now once the road's in, they're going to tax me on the uh, full amount for a bill of the law. It ain't the end of the world, you know. So, uh, it, I mean, it ain't, it's crazy money with us now. It basically lets the driveway get to the yes. road. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, 6.2 3 2 yeah. k sewage disposal, test pit data. We've got a stack of them in there. Yep, we got all the test pits we did. Yep. Indication of the type of water supply to be used. We only have one type in this town. <laughs> uh, date on the plan, North Arrow, mm -hmm. graphic map scale. Let's see. Yes, I'm all of that. Name and address of the recorded <laughs> owner, applicant, the individual company who prepared the plan. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what the street is going to be. Yeah, yeah. I think it should be Brad's way. Brad's yeah. way. <laughs> How was this done? Brad's way. Uh, wetland areas, regardless of the size, that's on seven. Um, that's got that low area in there. How many acreages of wetland was in that low area? I have a calculation on that. I think it was. Uh, that's a problem. We could do a village of each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that small area in there? Yeah. Where it just kind of. Yeah, I think it was like three acres. Yeah. Down the valley, Ken? Down the valley, you say? Yeah. 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 I don't even think it was three years, because a lot of it went off on somebody else's property. I'm thinking like two or two and a half acres. I think it was. Yeah, I don't have that. Because part of that is the other. Yeah, it goes on to other people's land. The other people's land. Yeah, it's about three five there, but I'm, I'm much bigger than what you've got. Yeah. And remember, it is separated, so there's yeah. actually three different uh, three different. Uh, well, it's just saying the wet means. Well, I didn't get the exact uh, acreage at the other end. And I had brought them. When I was guessing, I was way down into there. So. Yeah. Um, my question about that. And You're on seven? Yeah. Or eight. It's going to be part of this lot. Part of lot seven. Yeah. Right, yeah. It was going to be open space. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. So it's part of lot seven. Yeah. Usually we're looking at that because wetlands isn't part of the lot area. Right. Number of acres within the proposed subdivision. 
But what do you say to uncover it? I mean, not just how do you stabilize it, but what's there now? Yeah, so I mean, I, I figure that would be the, uh, the seeding, the grass, and, and but that, that sheet actually details the, the seed mix. Uh, Yep. 
Yeah, we did. So I'll say that then, Ed. I tried to do good. You would. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would say good as well. Proposed lot lines, appropriate dimensions of lot area. We got that. All possible land proposed to be dedicated to the public use and conditions as such. And a sixteen and a with you guys. Yep. Yes, That's correct. sixteen. Yep. Yeah. 17 location of any open space, preserved common area created by a general description, proposed ownership. Okay, and then you come back. Yep. Existing lot area with existing forest cover would be converted to lawn, structures, and other covers. Got the driveway coverage in there, lot size. Yes, we do show the location of the homes and the driveways, so I guess that kind of covers where the development would take place. Now, two, where, where two is so different here is this is the old tennis courts. It is. is. That what that is? Yeah. Good. Okay. I agree. It's already, it's already, there is no converted. Yeah, it's already been converted. Exactly. Yeah, he's got the, the lower lying area that's going to be down in uh, lot 7. Oh, really? 10 acres or so. So, is that all? Most, most of it's all uh, shown as wetland. That's, to me, that's the question. What is the um, existing vegetation? My, my, my thing is, when we did the sidewalk up there, <clears throat> I mean, I obviously grass is vegetation, but you get down there, um, closer to the shore, you got okay. some forest in there, which is, and it's been, some of it's been marked out by the forest or what 
Well, it needs to be cut out of there for one reason or another. And uh, to me, any restriction would just be um, whatever plan the forest that came up with what needed to be cut and uh, what can be cut or should be cut. And that's all going to be with the uh, shoreline zoning regulations. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to say, for me, just for me, because we are going to revisit this and the final plan, that um, this is going to give it a okay for now. I mean, you know. Well, unless somebody has an issue. Unless, unless someone has an issue. Unless it's been done so far. Uh, right. Are you going to uh, submit a revegetation plan? If if, uh, if, yes, if so when we get to the final plan, oh, yeah. we'll have a revegetation yep. plan. So I'll add with my shoreland zoning for the 250 buffer uh, revenge plan. And we do show like on C2, we show the edge of the woods, uh, the wooded area. So that's that. Yeah. I'm waiting for the area. Something. Mm -hmm. that, so much going on. Yeah. You'll have to get into that, the storm on a pond, too. Uh, that still has to be cut, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Is this pond here smaller than the one on site, bigger than the one on site, or what is on site? About the same. Yeah, it's about the same, really. Yeah. yeah. So not a lot of activity for, for that one there, just yeah. adding this one here. Yeah. So we try to get those in a flat area because yeah. you can see it really uh, if you get it on a steep slope it's you just have uh, losing the grain and, you know, it's a lot of cut and fill areas identified as the unique natural area for the preservation I'd say that's wet the low lying areas wetlands wetlands and woods yeah. Historic places, and then schools down the street. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, waiver requests 24 was a high intensity soil. Soil maps are on. Well, actually, we did we did do a high intensity soil mapping, so so we do have that. Right. That's in here, right? Yeah, she been submitted with the first application. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I think some of the stuff from the first one we've got to move into this yeah. one here. Yeah. Such as that. But we, we, we really need to. I, I literally spent the morning shuffling yeah. Yeah. To right. and, okay. and gutting it. And yeah. I'm going to charge you for wallpapering my dining room with the uh, plants. You know, so that was the first thing. Look. That was the first thing you could have asked for a waiver for the contour lines, uh, dropping down from ten to five. You've got it down to two, and a for yeah. that waiver. Yeah. Logic assessment. Um, so I did submit a letter. Um, we did analyze all the wells in the area, and we expanded that with the with this phase of the project. Yeah. So you do have a letter that. Uh, anything that's recorded on the state website, um, we went through and, and kind of narrated uh, uh, the depth of wells and the yield and all that, just to uh, uh, get an idea what we find. So in the past, what we've done with the clusters is we'd have a hydrologist look at the water flow to determine where the water is going to place the septics. Uh, when we were looking at um, 10, 20, 30,000 square foot lots, but. These are all two plus acres. That's correct. Yeah. So I don't see it as, a, as an issue. And as a necessity. Everybody? Uh, D yeah, would I'm be fine. The, I'm fine. Okay. Vehicular traffic. Usually we've used a number of around eight trips per day per household. Um, the 55 and older, I think, are a lot lower. Yeah. We're not seeing that as much, but that, that counts for UPS, um, FedEx. Email person. Email person, pizza so, delivery. So I did submit a traffic analysis. Um, 
I do have copies of that. Was that on the cluster or on this one here? Uh, I just got that to you recently. So okay. 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 Anything we can Was that just the one copy or was there a stack? Um, I do have seven copies with me tonight. Right now? Well, you got three. You know, we got three of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take them all. We'll take them all. We'll put them in there. Yeah. So that. Yeah. So no wave is requested. So we do have two board members that are working tonight. We do have two alternate spaces that are open for the planning board. If anybody in TV land knows of yes. somebody yes. that would yes. love to come and, and join us. Join us. Um, alternates, we, uh, we do meet um, actually every week. We have these meetings twice a month. In the evening, we have workshops at noontime, alternating weeks from our meeting week. And uh, it's, if anybody's interested, come and sit and watch us a couple of times. Talk to uh, our planning director. Talk to me if you like. We could use alternates. And just so you know that so it is it is a commitment. Um, you know, they're a busy board for the size of this community. And alternates can be permanent. And uh, al go. alternates usually do become become permanent members. Um, you, uh, you know, attrition. Uh, Staying up too late past your bedtime, whatever. People do drop out. And, uh, so pass it on. And anybody in TV land would be interested. Please call. Call. In fact, you can call our uh, town administrator, Jennifer Wu, if you're interested. Okay, there should be posted. There should be a posting. And uh, it's going to have a little uh, newspaper thingy. Smart Shopper. Smart Shopper. My public service So that was it on the preliminary plan. So this is it on, yeah, this is covers the preliminary plan. So at this point, we need to do notifications. We need to do notifications to, to the abutters. And yeah. Can I ask about the traffic stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and here you talk about 50% of the homes being single family and 50% recreation. What do you mean by that? Uh, what we do is we look at an average. Um, there's a lot, a lot of homes around here are, are, are not um, year round. Summer. So, so yeah. So okay. so that was just a, a way of you know 50% of the homes would, would not be year round and 50% would be so. Okay. Big, so you're not saying within this specific subdivision. You're just saying in the area. In, in, as an average, yeah. okay. and that's what we do with the average. If you look at the next sheets, those are all average uh, trips per day, and then it spells out the, the two different categories of uh, you know a full-time uh, sig detached single-family home, and then it gives you the traffic count for that. So. And that's the latest, that's the 10th edition. As I found out, ours was updated, so this, this is the updated uh, uh, traffic uh, um, manual. So then, based on all of that, the final number is 96.88, is that right? That's right, trips, trips per, per day. Yeah. So the whole 96.88 subdivision? Okay. So it's a demo cast going into the bass fishing tournament program. Um, 
walk me through the existing driveway that you convert into the road. There was a grade area exceeding 10 or so. Uh, are you altering? What's your thoughts with that, or am I? So where is that, at the entrance? Or? It's a little further down than the entrance. So that's the profile of the Young's Ridge Road and our site distance down yep. the road, yeah. Maybe I don't need that. Well, I think so we had it in some time. Yep. You're, well, you're exceeding the, and I haven't gone through the grade standards. What is on P2? Yeah, so we're at 10.8. Um, How far so. does that go for? Yeah, well, that was P1. How far will that go at that grade? I believe it's 800 feet or something like that. At 10.2? At uh, 10. Yeah, 10.6. Yeah. So I, I, off the top of my head, I know you can exceed the 8% for, I think, 100 feet or so, but um, that'll be something that the final plan will be looking for. Yeah, we'll see how the regulations okay. navigate you around that or um, what you guys are proposing out there. Yeah, so I think at this point it's we are looking at a class C road and it's going to be a private road. And, um, and if you look at the regulations that I found, I couldn't find any uh, uh, requirement for grade on, on a class C road. It will be paved and um, so that's going to make a big difference. Uh, <coughs> but it, it's, it's not 8%, it is 10.8% uh, at the max. Is it close to grade now when we're out there? It is, yeah, that is, that's at 10.8% of the road in the way it is. Within, within a few inches, two or three inches. I like to keep it at that because, uh, you know, this, you know, the nature of the land and how it flows, you know, I mean, I can make it work at eight. I think it'd be a pretty tight, God rolls and everything else in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. You know, because you get a fill on one side and the land slopes down, so I mean, I mean, I can make it work today. It. It's not going to look pretty, but just to keep the contour of the land, and, you know, the meadows flowing, and that's why I like to keep it where it is. Yeah, it's been a few years yeah. since we've had a, a issue similar to this, and, and I thought it was you could exceed that for 100 feet, but right. it doesn't say what you could exceed it to. Uh, right. So it almost seems like you could be unlimited for 100 and then you okay. back out, which doesn't make any sense either. And I think the board has waived and worked with that yeah. in yeah. the past, but... I mean, it's 14, 12 and 14 coming to me. So oh, it's, yeah, 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 so that, well, that's a big difference too, if the town's going to take a road over, uh, they might look at it a little different. Well, Will we put that in our conditions? Mm -hmm. That'll never be a town road? Well, I think you know the atmosphere of how towns like to accept private roads. Usually it's just negatively. Uh, most, most are afraid if they take one, they take all of them. Um, what we do on, on the uh, one on the hop again and uh, Eagle Strays. Eagle yeah. Strays. Yeah, and that was the developer, same as you guys. Yeah. They never wanted the town to take it over. They want to keep it private. Was that one of the conditions? I think that was proposed by the developer. It, it could be on the plan. I, it is on the plan, I believe. Okay. And that was at the developer's. And again, it'd be a consistent. Yeah. Uh, action yeah. of the planning board. So I, I just want to keep it private. Yeah. And I'll follow it. If there's a W-1199, we've gone through the plug. You know, right. there's street trees, flower beds, and everything. All, you know, I don't know if they can find it with the sand and salt and everything. <laughs> From the spray everything. So that's why I, I just want to keep it private. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. I uh, hear just 
plant trees and I have the mind waves and everything else, tree okay. trees, so. I think my concern just would be us sending in the fire truck and ambulance down and right. the police being yeah. maintained. Yeah. But that would be your homeowners association coming up with that. Yep. Beating the checklist up for the preliminary. I think, I think we've beaten up this uh, definitely preliminary. Uh, I make a motion to accept the preliminary plan application. Okay. Well, it was to review it. Well, this, that was review. Time. I don't know. We have some things that we've skipped. What they uh, it was fee. Fee was one. So take us back right now. Okay. Take us back and forward. <laughs> so we started at six one. We have the first thing on that is the uh, fee. The fee. But we had a uh, we made a motion. The motion passed. That uh, now we would accept that. We need to send them a receipt. We need to send them a receipt mm -hmm. and notification. Because I see three motions on this page, and notifications have to go out. I mean, I thought accepting the uh, plan uh, initiated. These things getting done to first to review. Okay, first. So I'd say we we don't need to accept it tonight. Okay. And then we'll just we'll send you the the email and the fee. The next. You keep mentioning the fee. Can I afford this? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be tough. It's it's gonna be. You'd be rolling pennies. Yeah. I'd I say talking to the news anymore. <laughs> can, can I pay you pennies? That's all I got left. <laughs> yeah, we have to take any form of currency. So you can just All right, so what, what, what I would like to have happen is would you kindly take your motion back? Right, take my motion back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Rescind your motion. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If you guys gave me my couple of watts for the kids on the lake, maybe I'll just donate the rest of the land to you for watts. That would be a nice little hit, wouldn't it? Keep it up or put it down beach out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I would argue for that. Okay. Wait a minute, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> but you can't put that till I'm dead and gone. I think we're better off to move on. I think we move on from this. Um, I do have a couple of relocations. I, I know we have relocations. Just a clarification question. Yes. So you earlier voted to review the plan. We reviewed. There was a vote earlier. It, the earlier vote, there was three notes. The application. Was to review the application. Right. But there was no vote tonight to We have not accepted the preliminary plan tonight. Thank you. We have not approved, we, or we, we have not, we, we have not, <laughs> let me make sure we keep using the right words. We accepted the application. Okay. Our next step was the sketch plan, which we did approve and accept. Because tonight was a preliminary. We are simply not voting on that tonight. We need, you know, the, some money parts have to be done, some notifications have to be done. And that will be taken care of and but will be, I'm sure, accepted at our next board meeting. But it was not accepted uh, tonight. So you reviewed it, you did so not accept the motion. So it's like the accepting of the application process. Right. So you could review it. it. Yes. Not so we, not so it, it, it's not that we have not approved it. We have taken no action tonight. You have accepted the application. We have accepted it, and we have reviewed the plan. OK, thank you. We have re is that clear enough, Mr. Crespi? I, I don't want you to read. No, no, I, the, the earlier vote, if I understand correctly, the first vote you take, I mean, I wrote out down in my notes the motion was to accept the plan. And then it kind of came back and you said review it. I'm like, did I miss that? Well, and then there was a later. The, well, there, there's, 
you accept the app, you I, I, vote on the application, yeah. whether you're going to accept it or not. Yeah. Then you have a sketch plan. Yeah. You review it. You yeah. go through it. You accept it or you don't. Or you say, come back with this or that. And you go to the preliminary. Yeah. And as I read very clearly, I think even with my voice, that doesn't mean we're going to accept anything down the line. We're going to page by page, yeah, by yeah, yeah. step by step. Yeah, and I believe the motion was to accept the preliminary application. application. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That will be clear in the minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, anything else? No, I think. No, I'm all set. Okay. Thank you very much. We shall see you in two weeks. Two weeks, we'll take the battery. It's today. Seven. Twenty first. Twenty first. Can we go shop? Some of those other things that you said you had, and you didn't give us tonight, but you make sure that you do give us copies. You said you have copies of a couple other. Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's, I, I, you know, my fault is we haven't very adhered to I do have a copy of that, uh, the well analysis of yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of thing. I might have a couple of those. If you give, just give one of them to Kenny, I would think, then, then you guys could put them out for everybody's folders and have a little bit of 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 a are you guys all set? Yep. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in two weeks. Thanks a lot. 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 Thanks
So no, the gray is the, the proposed. Sorry, okay. yellow is the old. Yellow is the old. So the yellow. So it is going to be. Yeah. Uh, fill it yeah. in this color and slide in. Put the little porch there. Yeah. Um, they, so they're already too close to the road. They're already too close to the water. They're already too close to the neighbors on one side. They're okay on my other. And it kind of looks like it better stay where it is. Uh, it is going to slide a little bit over. Yeah. So but around there to get away from that two foot mark. So no closer than 50 feet from the water, 48 feet from the street, and six on one side. 50 feet to each. Yeah. Let's give them the two inches. You're going to give them, give them two inches well, as well? Well, we've got the survey. The survey will show it. It'd just be easier for the minutes if we're not down to inches. Uh, I would think. So the motion would be appreciate 50 from the water, 48 from the street, and 6 from one side. How many of the, the um, this is on the river? Yeah. How many of the center of the road? The surveyor. Oh, the survey. Yep. There was a survey. Where's the septic in the uh, Brand new septic that is five years old, four years old. In August. Just five. last year? Yeah, it was five years. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. the septic is right there. That's brand new. <coughs> right there. Yeah. Really, there's no place for it to go except for sideways a little bit. So they'll come over to the 10 foot. That's going to change that two feet to six feet. Right. So hmm. it's something. And, and they are going up a little bit? A little bit. Um, they have pictures. Hmm. Now, what's it look like now? So 30% of not much is not much. It's not much. Yeah, they'll end up filling this corner in a little bit and bring a small cave into it. Um, small, medium cave. Yeah. By today's standards, I would say small. Mm -hmm. I think the septic is a three bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it is a small house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twelve or square feet or something. Yeah. And they're not really touching anything in front of the house. Uh, I mean, we'll, they're going to have to put in erosion control and all yeah, the we're going to have to put in the revegetation vegetation plant, plant. You know, county water and soil. Right. Um, three, four, five years ago, your county got the people we were working with moved on. They got their master's degree and moved on. And it was difficult for people to get a hold of anybody there, get them to come out, get any, any documents out. So we were starting to allow acting like their watersheds and people like that to do plans, the contractors. Uh, York County's back on. They've got a great uh, designer out there. She's readily available. It's not that expensive. So we're back to pushing the York County water and soil plans, the veg plans. Um, one of the projects we did on Hungry Point he just came in and 293 plants, I think he said that they have to do out of on, on, on Odyssey's. Yeah. And that was just a cabana that he had to plant on. That was a cabana that we did on 30 acres. She yeah, but it was close. Straight from the DEP. Yeah, she, she used to be on the Maripa side of the DEP. Okay. So she was enforcement, now she's... And then the ordinance just says you mitigate stormwater. And it's kind of vague. I mean, it's the comfort level they have, so. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on this one, guys. It, it comes down to the three of us. We have to hold your list. All right. I messed up my eyes one night. <laughs> okay, I will be uh, recommend for best practical location for 107 Blue Curve Map 149 that the new building be uh, no closer than 50 feet from the water, 6 feet from one side, 10 from the other, and 48 from the center of the road. Second. 
discussion? Just, I just want to publicly say you will do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of the vegetation stuff that comes yeah. up. Yes, yes, the other All right, anything else? Reminder we meet next Wednesday, noon time. Um, we're going to have a couple other evidently get togethers in between. And uh, we did feel like the others on here, but that's okay. Um, Dennis and I, with, you can, you can. with Brenda and um, Kenny, went to Southern Maine. Um, seminar. And Christina. And Christina. And Christina. Is that the Wednesday night? Um, Wednesday night, okay, in yeah. Sanford. And um, there were things that we learned. There were things that we learned. Um, and uh, it was, it was, I think it was particularly good having Christina with us, where she does our minutes and mm -hmm. such things. Um, it was very, they did give us thumb drives to, it, rather than passing out paper, we got thumb drives. So I'd be happy to share mine with you okay. if you want to download. Um, I mean, we didn't even really get an agenda. It was all, yeah. all, all on the thumb drive, which, which uh, you know, was a, a little bit, um, I think I would ask for a paper agenda. Anyway, we might it was good. It was good to be we, we, uh, yeah. Any like thing that we should be paying more attention to or doing differently? It all comes down to findings of fact. Yeah. Findings of fact. Things out to yeah. have a good findings of fact. To really spell out why. To, exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. To the supporting data. The supporting data. Okay. And there was some good information again for Christina on what um, needs to be in the minutes. Time. Time. Who's here? Who is here? Emotions. And motions. That's it. Cool. That was it. Really? That was okay. it. No reason to have discussion um, in there. Time. And, and it's been like that for years. Yeah. It's just that there's a lot of people that like to have that conversation in the minutes. But I remember many years ago uh, with Lorraine. People who were criticized, whatever she didn't or did put in the minutes when she was doing it for the slide. And she says, Look, she says, the law says all you do is the motions and the vote. Yeah. Joyce, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. Is it, are you almost done? Yeah, almost done. Okay, because both batteries are low. Okay. <laughs> Eight <Right>. minutes. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I brought you up to the meeting we went to on that. I would like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All in favor. Thank you.